Okay, on the way. Welcome to this player growth test where I'll be taking a look at Eddie Gutierrez, the 21 year old center mid who says a 76 overall, a guy who was very good in FIFA 16, very good this this year as well. Um, another good young Mexican player in uh, Club Pachuca product as well, a third player from that club that I've tested so far. But 5'9 center mid who's left foot with high medium work rates, two star weak foots, and two star skumo. So um, we can take a look at these attributes now. Physically, good sprint speed and acceleration from the start, not too bad with the balance and stamina either. Nice mental stats, uh, then technically good ball control dribbling passing uh, decent long shot shot power and curve and his marking and tackling are not too bad along with uh, the crossing and finishing as he goes up to the 78 overall at the end of year one so stamina improving quite a bit also I mean center mid seem to grow a lot actually in stamina but also finishing goes up quite a bit for center mids in this game uh, you can see it going all the way up to the 75 mark at the end of the uh, at the end of year two uh, some good improvements all around to the physical stats mental stats technical stats in that year uh, as the ball control dribbling has gone up also, and you can see him at this 83 overall at age 23 uh, with some very good mental stats, ball control, dribbling, finishing, short passing, shot power, long shots, all at a very good level. Uh, he definitely could be a very good center attacking mid for you um, just to play him a little bit higher up the pitch to take advantage of that finishing. But it was very agile. Um, his agility wasn't, you know, very high, but I think it was more of the fact that how good his dribbling is. Um, he felt very good and light on the ball as you can see him making players miss. Uh, so unfortunately, the occasion of the final product wasn't the best. I mean, he has decent pass but it's not you know elite level per se but he can still make some great passes such as this one after running at the defense tried to go at the cheeky chip but uh, that didn't work out unfortunately in that highlights uh, now winning the ball back doing a good job showing some of his two-way ability he has some decent tackling now he can push forward and play the ball through uh, in a nice fashion and create a little half chance there I guess you could say as he's again getting forward into this great spot and now uh, creating another good chance playing that ball through there finding those little um those little passing lanes that's the word now again running at the defense creating issues and grabbing himself an assist to round out these highlights so it was very good i think he'd be a very good center attacking mid his agility wasn't super high but he, he just felt very light on the ball in my opinion um and just felt good running at the defense would have wish i would have been able to take advantage of that finishing a little bit more unfortunately that did not happen as he has a clinical finisher especially it's pretty ridiculous uh, to be honest with just how center mids are growing this year so again a very good midfielder with high stamina decent pace and agility and balance uh, very good mental sets ball control dribbling finishing passing long shots and shot power all very good and not too bad with the marking and tackling either so it could be anywhere from a box to box midfielder um, you know to a cam to even like a center forward with that type of finishing he has on him can maybe even you know pitch in out wide on occasion as well but uh, definitely a wonderful midfielder that I think you should, guys should take a look at but with that guys thanks for tuning in I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later